Welcome guys to another video. Now I'm gonna be talking about bodies of water like for example lakes and, and rivers and ponds and really what I want to talk about is when you use these it could be one of the best things to use at the same time it could be one of the worst and now if you watch this video you're gonna need to know everything you need to know when using lakes and ponds and everything so for we're gonna build a giant some giant lakes together um and it's gonna look good aesthetic wise but we're gonna show um the effect so i'm gonna skip over and build this uh lake guys i built that lake and this is kind of a giant lake i added some bridges and some aqueducts and it aesthetically it looks pleasing i mean i think it's very cool as we can see here the car going over the bridges to the other side crossing the lake um and i see this using design challenges a lot with the lakes um it's very successful i recommend using it in design challenges um so aesthetically wise, lakes, building lakes like these, especially rivers where you can make a river, which honestly looks really good as well, um, that will be really good. As you can see from this picture right here, someone made a really good uh, body of water, and this has an aesthetic appeal. However, that person may experience problems with boosting the difficulty, boosting the population, that person may have problems with boosting the population because even though the bodies of water, they look aesthetically pleasing, in reality, they're so low population boost. And let me show you why is because stuff like a big lake is 12 by 12 area, 16%, right? Look at this right now for the landscape category. And this is the, I, I have no other landscape category. This is only all of this, which costs 3000. Yes, it costs. It only gives you all of this gives you only a 3000 population boost. That is ridiculous because it's not going to give you a lot where you can place a lot of buildings there, a lot of homes, a lot of specializations, and you'll have a big population. Whereas the ocean or the lake, shall we say, takes up too much space so it's not a good strategy if you're trying to boost your population a matter of fact it, it, avoid bodies of water like lakes and ponds altogether if you're trying to boost um if you're trying to boost your population go for gambling specializations but anyways but they still have value the, these bodies of water because if you're competing in design challenges remember those can be really good they can be pleasing to the eye aesthetically um and plus one thing also, if you use other regions, if you're not trying to boost your population or if you already have a big population, then go for it. Go for it. Um, there's many designs you can see. Um, but yeah, what I want to talk about really is that the lakes, the ponds, whatever you want to make, even though it may be aesthetically pleasing, it's not going to be pleasing to your population. And that's just, I just wanted to talk about this really quickly because this is just something so unique about uh i found in the game is that it's something that could be the best thing aesthetically i mean when you see cities with lakes rivers i look at those and i they impress me a lot but when you look at statistics when you look at the population boost they'll they're really bad like extremely bad um because as you can see in this one each lake or pond is adding in the hundreds really nothing in the thousands and that's ridiculous, and that's not going to give you much. But you can do a lot of things aesthetically. So these things are for you if you want the aesthetic approach. But if not, avoid these altogether. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, if you go check out my Twitter, I should have a link down in the description. I also appreciate it if you read the description. I say some stuff there. Uh, I appreciate you guys all watching. I, I like to hear from you. Please comment. I want to know what you guys got to say. Um, I'm always glad uh, the cover some city builder for you guys and um, you know just comment please. I would like to talk to you guys and anything you want to talk about the game, I'm here to answer. So. Uh, 
thanks so much. Um, and remember, get those lakes, but be wary because it will damage your population.